Welcome back to the channel everyone. Hope you're all having a blessed day. So today I'm going to run you through six key exercises that I use on a back day, mainly focusing on lats and we'll start off with the seated row. I particularly like this exercise because of the support that you have with the seat on your chest. So it doesn't allow for too much rocking movement and it just allows you to be a bit stricter. I also like doing these exercises um, with a 28 count, so 7 with doubles, 7 count with a single arm, 7 count from the other arm and then another 7 with a double. Again I like this because you can isolate and do a bilateral movement so wherever you have weakness usually you'll have one arm, one side of your body maybe stronger than the other. So at least you can try and work on those by having that single side strengthened individually. With this and any other exercise, I tend to vary what I'm doing in terms of heavy weight, low reps and medium weight and high reps. So on this particular day, I'm going for medium weight. It's not too light, but not crazy heavy and slightly higher reps um, at 28. On a different day, I'll do exactly the same exercise, but I'll probably have four or five plates on there and I'll be going for six, eight, maybe 10 reps. So it's good to vary it as well in terms of reps and weight and sets. Right, the next exercise is the rope lat pullover. I love this exercise and there are various ways to do this. So you can lean slightly more over, sort of hinge at the hip and not have your arms too far in front of you and not stand up straight when you pull the rope back. Or you can have yourself standing slightly straighter up and have the weight sort of maybe 90 degrees or so, your arm 90 degrees in, in front of you and then pull in to your arms or by your side. I like to do a combination of both where I'm kind of somewhere in between. I'm hinged over, I have my arms sort of coming up to about my shoulder or so, about 90 degrees with the rope and my arm and then I'm pulling back my arms to the side and I'm standing up slightly as I pull to the back. So I'm trying to get the full range of motion in my lats because when you extend your arms forward, you've got the lat fully extended. And then when you pull it back, you can then get that full contraction at the back as well. And a final thing with this exercise is using the rope allows you to be able to pull your arm to the side of you and you don't have to stop if you are using a straight bar at your thigh. The next two exercises again sticking to focusing on the lats are the rope single arm lat pull, first starting with the high position on the cable and then the next one focuses with the cable at the low position. Now with this particular exercise, I like it because I feel a better connection to my lat and the contraction of my lats. One of the reasons that I think this is happening is because your arm gets fully extended in front of you and so your lats fully extended. And again, you're pulling that weight all the way back to almost like trying to get my hand to below my chest. And I definitely feel a better contraction in the lats doing this. The other thing with this exercise is you can't go crazy heavy with it because obviously the weight is going to be pulling you forward. So I stagger my feet. I have one foot in front of the other, maybe um, half a foot apart and it allows me to lean back just slightly and then I try and stay as stationary as possible and just let the lats do all the work. If you load the weight too much, you won't be able to pull it essentially. Now this is going into the same exercise, but with the position of the cable at the bottom, so the low position, and similarly stagger my feet, not have the weight crazy high. I get myself in a position with my torso upright, 
and then I try and stay in that position and pull. In this case, I'm pulling up and I'm trying to get again my hand sort of around where my chest rib cage is. Another tendency with this exercise is people turn too much. So they're sort of using a rotation at the hip to try and pull the weight back. And you wanna try and avoid doing that. So in this position here, you can see I'm pulling my lats back and my shoulder comes back as well with it as much as possible, but I'm not twisting at my hip. You wanna try and avoid doing that. This is my fifth go-to exercise for getting a great back workout focusing on the lats. This is the T-Bar Row Machine. If you don't have this machine, you can use a regular barbell hooked into either a corner or if you find a rack that's got a pivot position for the bar to go in, then you can put that in there and then load the weights at the front. And then you can either hold the bar itself or sometimes you can get a close grip um, tool to put across the bar and pull it. One of the reasons I love this machine is similar to the first machine where you don't have too much opportunity to move because you have the support on your chest. There's always a temptation with this machine to load it up but I personally think if you start moving too much and you start feeling pain in your back then that's a bad idea. The sixth exercise is deadlifts. I absolutely love deadlifts and I think they're a great exercise for any day uh, but on a back day you can certainly add them now I go for sort of medium reps uh, 15 10 15 uh, reps or so with a medium weight this is 120 so I'm not trying to go anywhere near one rep max I'm just literally trying to do three sets of about 10 12 maybe 15 or so reps this is a fantastic exercise for a lot of different muscles, your glutes, your hamstrings, your lats, your arms, your shoulders. So um, absolutely a great addition and one that I wouldn't miss off any back day workout. So that's it. Those are six core exercises that I love to include in a back day, especially one focusing on my lats. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys add at least one, if not all of those exercises into your routine. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember everyone, living your fittest life is a lifestyle. Stay blessed, love.